Uh, hi guys, today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to uh, plan an investigation in Biology Paper 6 for IGCSE. Right. Right. So, if we have a look at this question, the question asks us to plan an investigation to determine the effect of pH on the activity of MLAs. Right. So, Whenever you are planning an investigation, the first step you want to identify is, the and the first thing you want to write down is actually the independent variable, right? So what is the independent variable? The independent variable is a variable that you're going to change. It's the one that is yeah, that you're going to change, right, in the experiment. So in this case, the, the investigation wants us to determine the effect of pH on the activity of MLAs. So therefore, the independent, the independent variable has to be <clears throat> the two two different pH uh, levels, right, or pH values. So, for example, you could have amylase, which is at a, a pH of seven, and amylase at a pH of, for example, two, right. So, you are testing between two different pH levels, at least two different pH levels. Okay, you can put more if you want. Right, so first step, independent variable. Second step, we're gonna write dependent variable. So the de dependent variable is the one that you're going to measure, right? So in this experiment, what are you going to measure, right? So uh, uh, for this for this experiment, I want to use a method known as uh, by using reducing sugars. Okay, so what do I use to test for reducing sugars? I'm gonna use Benedict solution. Okay, so my dependent variable would be the time taken for the first color change after <coughs> yeah time taken for the first color change. So how how long does it take for the Benedict solution to first change color is going to be my dependent variable. So it's the one I'm measuring. I'm measuring time taken. Okay. And then next, I need to put in at least two controlled variables, right? So uh, since I'm going to using a reducing sugar method, I'm going to be uh, the control variables I need to control is the firstly, obviously, the <coughs> the volume of Benedict solution right for benedict solution and the second one i'm going to put is the volume of starch solution right i'm going to i'm going to uh, need to keep the the amount of starch i put in the same and as, as well as the amount of benedict solution i'm putting in the same right cuz these things you need to be controlled so you don't change Right, so that you can correctly identify that the independent variable is causing the change in the dependent variable. Okay, so now that I've this the, the the three variables completed, uh, the next step I need to do is write my method. Right, so your method, uh, in this case, to take step one is to take a fixed volume of samples. You can write a uh, whatever reasonable volume that you want or you can just write a fixed volume also it works and second you're going to uh, uh, test with Benedict's solution right you're gonna add your Benedict solution and you're gonna test it at 80 degrees Celsius because you need it to be at 80 degrees Celsius for the solution to work right and then say the third step will be measure time taken for first color change okay so you're gonna start measuring the time taken until the first color change when the benedict solution is at 80 degrees celsius okay so that will be your method and then <clears throat> you can also include other things in the method for example you can say uh, use a buffer Right, you can also add this. This will give you a mark. So use a buffer solution so the pH doesn't change. Okay, uh, 
So, what else can you write? You can write to repeat the investigation at least twice. Right, this one would always give you a mark in an exam, basically. It's free. Repeat the investigation at least twice and you uh, obtain an average. Okay, and finally, you can put uh, your safety precautions, right? So your safety, let's see, precautions would be to use gloves because you're dealing with low pH solutions, right? So you need to use gloves, uh, wear goggles, right? Uh, you need to ensure there's no flammable objects. Uh, if you're using a Bunsen burner to heat the solution, right? If not, you don't need to write this. Or you can also say uh, <coughs> using a tongs if you're using a Bunsen burner, right? So that's it basically when, you're, when they ask you to plan an investigation. So you need to write your three variables. The important, the important things to take away is you need to write three variables. And after three variables, you need to uh, you need to make sure that you write your, your method. So three variables followed by your method, followed by uh, your reliability. So in this case, you'll be repeat the investigation, right? And then followed by safety precautions. So this should get you the six marks easy. Okay, you just need to make sure you know what uh, what kind of tests you want to do. So in this case, we're testing the activity of amylase using uh, reducing sugars. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe for more.